Bernadette Schramm. I am Head of Talent and Partnerships at IEFTA, which is the International Emerging Film Talent Association. Um, and I'm here at the moment in the Africa Hub, the beautiful Africa Hub of the Berlinale Berlin Film Festival 2019. Um, this year, it's the first year that IEFTA has a partnership with uh, the Africa Hub, and we're very excited because it's coming out of a initiative that we run in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. Um, and we have been bringing talent now to Europe, mainly to Cannes over many years. And this year we are bringing three Ethiopian filmmakers, producers to Berlin to participate in a panel which is called Spotlight on Ethiopia's Emerging Film Market. Um, it'll be chaired by an actress who is living in Germany and uh, she was actually born in Ethiopia but is of Eritrean descent. So it's really interesting to bring people together and see you know, what is actually happening with Ethiopia's current film industry and why we should be observing it because it really is a new market that's rising up. It's one of the most developed markets in the Horn of Africa and there's a lot of potential, there's a lot of very good stories and very good talent coming out of this market um, and so we want to portray it and IEFTA's job is to support emerging filmmakers from emerging economies um, and we're very happy that Ethiopia has been our biggest market for the last 10 years. Um, we've brought filmmakers to Cannes since 2010 um, and now we're also bringing them to different festivals across Europe. So it's a way to help them expand their network, meet other like-minded filmmakers and make projects happen and show that you know Ethiopia deserves to have a place on the global platform and on the international market. So it's really, really exciting. How many uh, films, filmmakers, have you helped in the past 10 years? Well, in total, I would say we've helped, well, we've, we've physically helped about 25 filmmakers um, who we've sponsored to come to different festivals. So it's not only been the Cannes Film Festival, where we have a partnership with Marche du Film, um, and we have placed filmmakers from Palestine, from Egypt, from Mongolia, from Bangladesh, from Ethiopia, from Bhutan this year as well, um, and also emerging students from our partnership with the Water Sprite Film Festival. Festival of Princess Grace Association in the USA. You know, we've brought them onto the official industry programs at Cannes, which is really exciting. They are in the producers' network and in the industry workshops. Um, and that has been about you know 22 filmmakers over the course of the last, we count back, seven years. Um, but now we also have a new partnership with IFFR, which is the Rotterdam Film Festival, um, where we, well, we were trying to bring a filmmaker from Lebanon, but unfortunately, visa was not authorized by the authorities, so we're trying our best to be able to give her the chance next year to come. Um, but then we also have a relationship with the Torino Film Lab, where we've brought a filmmaker from Egypt. We have a relationship um, with Berlin, so we're constantly expanding our, our network of, um, of markets and festivals. But we don't only help filmmakers in sponsoring their travel, their travel to uh, festivals, but we also offer you know, advice and mentorship and um, legal support sometimes where we cover some of the legal fees which they just simply wouldn't be able to afford. Um, we've got a big deal at the moment going on with, uh, uh, I can't say too much, but a Chinese-American company uh, investing in an Ethiopian project. So we're helping support the, the filmmaker from that perspective as well. And, uh, and that really is, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens. So we really offer a lot of mentorship and support. And uh, yourself and uh, and Marco are both filmmakers. Uh, at one stage, have you be, haven't, haven't you been tempted to engage in the filmmaking process or help them or embark on, on the production of a, a script of a film you saw or you mentored? Or have you crossed that line? I mean, is it, it's a good line to cross, but uh, have you tried that? Then? Yes, well, it's, it's really exciting, you see, because we come into contact with projects all the time. And I think for myself and Marco, what really drives us as filmmakers and as, as directors, myself as a producer, is a content which makes you perceive the world in a slightly different way. It's challenging perspectives and it's encouraging and stimulating positive change in some way. So especially there's certain projects I've come across which really embody that thematic that drives me as a filmmaker. Um, and of course you want to be involved in some ways. And there's, there's one project from Ethiopia in particular that I've now introduced to my production company and I'm saying that this is a gem 
I really think that if we develop it in the right way, because unfortunately a lot of the talent, talents in these regions are lacking strip development and that lacking creative producers, but if we can address those two factors and bring them together, we actually could make a really beautiful project that has a very, very large reach. So um, to answer your question, yes, I, I do um, see a lot of projects that, that do stimulate me. And I'm tracking them slowly because I can't bombard my production company with all this great material all the time. But you know, there's certain gems that I'm tracking not only to help them and put them in touch with producers, but I'm saying that's something that I would like to do with them together. And also, I just, I'm very driven by finding voices from outside of Europe and outside of North America because I think that what we see on our screens, it's not really representative of the world that we're living in. You know, it's controlled very much by by production companies in Hollywood, in, in these, these very small, this very, very small industry, very small world, which is dominating, you know, the content that billions of people are consuming around the world. And I don't think it's representative of the world that we're living in. And so if I can do something to try and foster a more representative um, industry and content, then that's what I really would like to do. One question, what does, uh, what inspire you that sentence, this, uh, making movies that matter? Mm. How do you relate to that? Well, making movies that matter, I mean, you know, what I think is important about making movies that matter, it's not necessarily about you know, showing the big issues that are happening in the world and saying these are the issues that are mattering, these are the, the causes that we should be standing up for and that we should be fighting towards in bettering. But movies that matter are movies that have got a reach and a, com a commercial factor because you can't really have a great film that has a great message that does matter if it doesn't have its reach. So I think there's an element that has to realize its commercial potential. You want to be able to bring people into the cinema or into their, you know, looking at this content on their on their mobile devices, on their, on their digital platforms from places in the middle of, you know, Texas or wherever they might be, who wouldn't be driven to go and watch a social commentary documentary in a festival normally. You want to reach these people who need to understand the world in a different way. And so for me that also means having a certain commercial impact. Um, so I would say movies that matter are films that have got a message, a positive Positive message that want to stimulate change in a positive way, and, and that have and today, a, and today exactly, yes. and that um, exactly have and today, and that also have got that commercial value that maybe entertainment factor. Yes, and maybe last, what's your agenda? When are you organizing the panel that you're doing here at the African Hub? So the African Hub IFTA's events, we have got a presentation about um, IFTA's activities in which we're encouraging in collaboration with emerging filmmakers on Tuesday the 12th of uh, February um, at 11.30. It's only half an hour, from 11.30 till 12. And then later on that day at 3.30, also in the Africa Hub, we have got our spotlight on um, Ethiopia's emerging film market, which has our three um, filmmakers from Ethiopia here, together with our, our moderator. And after that, at 5 p.m. till 6, we have a happy hour that we're sponsoring. So we have drinks for everyone, and we have a chance to network and really try and Fuse new collaborations and new partnerships. And celebrate. All right. Many thanks. Thank thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Bruno. Thank you.